Hi, we're here at the Culinary Institute of America at Greystone in St. Helena, California, and I want to spend a little bit of time telling you about some really interesting new sauces. Now, everybody is struggling right now to put ethnic food on their menu and differentiate themselves from everybody else out there, but the learning curve is pretty steep. Now, you're all familiar with the soy, you're familiar with the teriyaki glaze, but what you might not be familiar with is Hanzu sauce, Thai curry, hoisin, oyster, unagi sauce. I'm not going to talk anymore. Let's take these sauces into the kitchen and get cooking. I'm Andrew Hunter, the food service and industrial chef for Kikoman USA, and I'm at the Culinary Institute of America at Greystone, here to present Thai red curry mussels. So to start the dish, we're going to use uh, a stovetop wok, and we're going to add vegetable oil, Add the oil to a hot pan, and then give the oil another minute or so to, to heat up till you see it dancing a little bit in the pan. I'm going to add a series of aromatics, garlic, ginger, shallots, green onions, lemon zest, and some serrano chilies and black beans. You can add whatever you like um, to moderate the spice um, or the flavor profile. So once the aromatics are in the pan and they're cooking and bubbling, you can hear them sizzle, turn the heat down so they don't brown. Just cook them long enough to get soft and aromatic. I like fermented black beans, so I add a little bit of those and a pinch of chili flakes. Now as this is cooking, I'm going to um, get my Thai basil ready. And with the oil, it'll kind of fry, and it'll, it'll infuse its flavor into the aromatics. And because this is the sauce, and there's a lot of flavor in the stems, I'm going to add them in big pieces so that you can um, get the benefit of the flavor and then also pull them out at the end before service. The flavor in fresh herbs is, the, is essential oils, and so if you chop them in advance, you lose some of that nice flavor. Now. The aromatics are soft, they smell delicious, the oil is bubbling, and I add a little bit of white wine, about a cup of white wine. It's Sauvignon Blanc and some Kikoman clear soy sauce, naturally brewed. And it's clear, and so it has all the benefits of soy sauce and the umami characteristics but it won't change the color of the sauce too much, and the, the Kikoman Thai red chili sauce will still be a bright, beautiful red color. Now, after I've added the white wine and the clear soy sauce, it's boiling and it smells delicious. You can smell all of the garlic and the onions and the, and the ginger, and the basil is coming through as well. So now I'm going to add my fresh scrubbed mussels and put the lid on. Now that the mussels have been steaming for about three minutes, you lift the lid and you can see how they're, how they're open and they smell delicious. So what I'm going to do, because I want to now make a sauce um, with, the, with the mussel broth and the Thai red curry. So I'm going to carefully bring them over to a colander to strain off the sauce. And just keep the mussels over here for a couple of minutes with the lid over them so they stay warm and continue steaming gently. Now I'm going to bring this sauce up to a boil and, and it's okay if you have a little extra sauce or maybe too much broth in, in your pan because you'll let it boil and reduce down a bit. What I'm going to add now is Kikoman's Thai red curry sauce. It has all of the classic Thai sweet, salty, um, spicy flavors to it. It's seasoned with garlic, galangal, which is sort of ginger's cousin, and lemongrass, and Thai curry paste. So one of the benefits, in addition to it being delicious, the, the curry sauce takes several hours to make and is quite complex, often has ingredients that you might not have in, in your restaurant. This is a terrific way to add authenticity to your menu while not spending the time and labor making the complex sauce.
which is a nice bowl. And I have my garnishes. I have um, toasted coconut, roasted chopped peanuts, and some crispy fried shallots, which are quite easy to do if you peel a shallot, slice it very thinly, and then fry it in medium hot oil, because they'll burn quickly. But they add a nice crispy note to, to the finish. And then, of course, I'll tear some Thai um, basil leaves on top as well. Now you can see the sauce has really come together nicely. And I'm going to add the mussels back. They're still steaming hot. And now I can find those stems easily. They've done their job already. And I can pull them out. So now my mussels have been sitting in the sauce for, for just a couple of minutes. You see they're open and the, the aromatics and the sauce have made their way into the shells. And I'm going to add them to the bowl. And as I do that, the sauce will come with it. Pour a little sauce over the top. And then just turn them up a little bit so you can see them. This is terrific as, as an appetizer. It can be an entree. It's a terrific dish to share. And these are the crispy fried shallots. I've garnished with toasted sweet coconut, roasted peanuts, and crispy fried shallots. And this is a sort of a rustic dish to begin with. So I'm just going to tear these as well for garnish so your guests will get a nice burst of Thai flavor from the fresh herbs. So here we have our steamed red Thai curry mussels with Tikoman Thai curry sauce and torn Thai basil.